Welcome back to NAB coverage from Gotham Sound 2024. That's all kinds of backwards, but who cares? I'm here with Glenn from Zaxcom. Glenn, how are you? I am great, Nick. How are you? Very good. Thank you for being here. Uh, and everybody at home, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions for Glenn, so please leave them in the chat and we will get to them as they come in. But Glenn, what are you showing off? Well, the big news here at NAB is the fact that we have a new internal transmitter for any Nova or Nova 2. So what we did with Nova is we made a new transmitter board that will transmit both VHF IFB, and that's going to be FM analog as well as encrypted digital. So where you would have a sound bag that would typically have a mixer recorder and may have wireless receivers, may have an IFB transmitter, may have multiple batteries. With this XCOM sound bag with a Nova, which has the eight receivers internally, you now have the IFB transmitter mm -hmm. internal. So you don't have to worry about power distribution, you don't have to worry about any other thing in the bag mm. other than the Nova. And our VHF IFB, which we call the VRX1, mm. has been a really big hit. Oh, isn't that this? And there's one uh -huh. now. And there it is. I'm so happy you came by. <laughs> so that's a VRX1, mm -hmm. and what this does, it's a VHF receiver that receives uh, Comtech transmitters. So it's a 10-channel receiver, has built-in delay, um, has a really good graphical user interface, which we're actually showing up here. So in any case, uh, this is a tremendous receiver. It's new at the show, even though we've been shipping for a couple months now. The thing about this, it's our new direct conversion technology. So there's no IF in this. So it's really immune to any kind of interference on set. Like, you would get on a typical FM receiver where uh, camera focus systems, walkie-talkies, cell phones, all can interfere with IFB. This IFB is not interfered with in that way. Mm. So, and the audio quality is really far better than the traditional you know, Comtex and other IFB FM systems. So integrating the VHF transmitter into the Nova is a really big advance in terms of, again, having lower power in the sound bag and a smaller sound bag. So that's all um, all really good. Just want to talk a little bit more about the um, VHF TX. Yeah, yeah, it's a VHF transmitter mm -hmm. that'll be analog, FM, and digital encrypted mm -hmm. as well. And the VRX will receive either of those. Yep. And with that, you can transmit straight from the Nova to traditional Comtech IFBs. Yep. There's actually a new jack on it so that you've got a Zaxnet output and you've got a VHF output. So uh, Sage wants to know, can the if this is set to digital mode, will it transmit in either stereo or with a, with a time code stamp to the VRX? Uh, there's no time code on the VRX. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do time code, that's our you know, URX series. Mm -hmm. um, and the transmission on this will be mono for now. I'm not saying it will never be stereo. Yep. If it is, it'll be a software thing. But uh, basically, it's, it's a mono transmission. It's really made to replace IFBs. Yeah. You know, the traditional inexpensive VHF IFBs mm -hmm. with something that's much better sounding, uh, that has really good, reliable transmission. And another thing about the VRX is that when you're at the edge of coverage and it's dropping out, it doesn't do what every other VHF IFB does, which is make annoying sounds that bother the production. Right. It has a really intelligent squelch where it fades out very nicely. Mm. So you know, the, the response from the VRX has just been unimaginable to me yeah. with everyone that gets it and listens to it just absolutely loves it. So, you know, with Zaxcom, what we try to do is we try to integrate everything. So it's the wireless transmitters, wireless receivers, IFB. I mean, our ecosystem, the original ecosystem, I think is better than, than any, anything in, that you can get from other manufacturers. Juan and Ferris and Ivar uh, all said, will this be retrofitted for the Nova 1 and 2? 
I was going to mention that. Thank you for your questions. Uh -huh. uh, yes, anyone that has a Nova 1 or Nova 2 will be able to get this upgrade. Mm, great. Yeah, we haven't priced it yet, but you know, we're hoping that it's going to be uh, you know, sub $1,000, so which I think is less expensive than a lot of IFB transmitters. Yes. So, and of course, again, being integrated, it's, it's lower power, it's smaller, it's you know, just overall, it's just great to have everything in, in one box. The VHF transmitter in the Nova, is that something that is user replaceable or does it need to go back to the mothership? Uh, I would say if someone's handy with a screwdriver, it would be user replaceable. Okay. Um, right now it looks like you just unplug the current Zaxnet board, plug this one in, update the software, and uh, if it's a Nova 2, there's, an actu there's actually a, um, a connector to add, which is basically very easy to do. Uh, you know, I'm sure the dealers would be able to do it. Obviously, we can do it at, at Zaxcom. Uh, it's not tough to do. Great, okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So, I mean, the other thing that I want to point out, and I know you want to talk a little bit about CMT as well, is just like, how well, impressive is this? That's something that, I don't know, I mean, this is the size of, a, of an old computer, um, you know, like a personal desktop, but, but it's got 16 channels of wireless right here. Oh yeah. And a mixing surface. Oh yeah. The, you know, what we've done, especially, you know, with the RX-8 and the ARIA-8, is we've allowed people to have a sound card that is ridiculously small and ridiculously powerful. Um, you know, we have our faderless faders, so to speak. I mean, you can see, if you zoom in there, that all you've got is a knob that moves. It's a mm -hmm. magnetic system, which gives you extremely high resolution an extremely good feel on this. Mm -hmm. So we have it also, if you look over at the sound card over here, it's available as eight faders, 12 faders, and 16 faders. This sound card here would be a typical Nova card. We've got our GUI bridge running the um, eight receivers here. And actually the receivers are in a bag on the side and they're hooked up through ethernet. So you've got full remote control of the receivers on this display through our GUI bridge. We have our Zaxcom Nova Touch over here where you've got all the, all the functionality of the Nova and a big display and the meters. And you're able to route and do all the functionality of the Nova. So what you have here is just an incredibly powerful sound cart, really easy to control. And uh, you know, frankly, very, very cost effective if you look at it compared to, to other things. Cool, that's great. And the new transmitter inside the, um, the Nova, when, yes. what's the, the time frame on that? Uh, we're hoping to have it out this summer. Okay. Yeah, it's not for sale yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it won't be for sale until it's FCC approved. We don't see any issue with that. We'll be getting approval. It takes about, about four weeks or so. Yeah, and will there be a, there'll be a standalone version as well? Absolutely there will be a standalone version. Mm -hmm. And that version will be transmitting FM as well as encrypted digital as well. Got it, yeah. okay. So, um, anything else you want to mention? And I should say, uh, everybody, yeah. thank you for your comments. And Simon, thank you for the, the sound mixing notes. I'll, I'll integrate that going forward. Um, it's not the easiest thing to have an interview and to, to dial things in, I but we'll, we'll do our best. But you are doing a wonderful job. Well, thank you. What we are also doing here at NAB is we're talking about and showing the uh, Zacks Convert program. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just put a lot of time into it, and it's now what we call multi-threaded. So those people who are doing uh, reality shows where you have any large number of transmitters with recording, mm -hmm. you're able to transfer the data from multiple transmitters at the same time. And of course, because in our transmitters, the uh, cards come out of them, mm -hmm. you don't have to have the, uh, the transmitters out of service to transfer the data. Ah, uh, yes. You simply change yeah. the card and away you go. Yep. So that's, um, that's another great thing that we're doing here uh, at NAB. So I want to talk for just a moment uh, about a product we've had for a long time, the ZMT4. I think it's worth talking about it, especially in line with the fact that, you know, there's now other companies who are trying to make smaller transmitters. This is the smallest digital transmitter of all. Mm -hmm. It's basically at least 50% smaller than competitive transmitters. 
it has 48 volt, actually 12 and 48 volt phantom power, so it can go on the boom pole. Uh, produces literally no heat output, and um, certainly is remote controllable through Zaxnet, and has the internal recording, and best of all, remote control of transmitter gain, so mm. you have the best audio quality at all times. So, you know, this product, while we've had it out for about four or five years, has really held up where I see this, you know, as, you know, definitely the product that I would want to buy if I was a sound mixer because of all the versatility and also the price being lower, far lower than that of what's available or not quite available from other manufacturers. And the seven hour runtime is just absolutely without equal being at least twice as much as larger transmitters that don't do as much. Mm. So, you know, ZMT4 uh, has just held up great and uh, we're obviously moving forward with technology. I'll end by saying that we're always working on something, whether it be recorders, whether it be wireless, whether it be IFB, you know, and I'm just so proud of, you know, all the customers who are using it and tell their, their customers about it. And frankly, the dealers who sell it, um, just, you know, everyone's been really, really good to us and we hope to give back to them as well. Great. Glenn, um, you know, just on a personal note, I always, we have a lot of videos with Glenn um, on our YouTube channel. There's some deep dives into the, the URX, into the GUI bridge, and a lot of other things. And I just, I appreciate you uh, being somebody that partners with Gotham. Uh -huh. uh, I really do appreciate that. That's very nice of you to say. You guys have always been great to us. And, um, you know, all I can say is thank you. We're going to keep up our end. Okay. Great, fantastic. Stay tuned for more uh, from NAB 2024, GothamSound.tv. Keep those comments coming.